welcome to Masters of Boredom. Let's play a Mystic Veil. I'm Aaron. Hi. Uh, I'm Aaron, half of the Masters of Boredom. Um, and uh, card builders, wow. I mean, deck builders really are my thing. Like, I have a massive legendary collection, and I've gotten several versions of Ascension, and I really love the crap out of deck builders. So, when somebody said there was a card builder out there with an interesting press-your-luck mechanic, I, I, I jumped on it. How could I not? Uh, and I think Mystic Veil is a great game, and I'm really looking forward to playing it today. I'm Johnny. Hi, I'm Johnny. Um, I like a lot of different types of games. Uh, strategy games are a lot of fun for me. I love playing Magic the Gathering. Mystic Veil seems like a Magic the Gathering type of game, except you improve on your cards instead of uh, just having really good cards. Matt here. Matt here. Uh, I usually enjoy a lot of different kinds of strategy games. Uh, board games can be a little boring because they're very fixed. Strategy games, resource games, are a little bit more fluid in the strategies you can use. Mystic Veil is definitely interesting because you're literally building your cards as you go through it. So it's a unique mechanic that I cannot think of another game that uses it. It's CJ. Alright, it's CJ again. We're back here at the table playing a card builder. Something a little bit different than I'm used to. I like card games, I like deck builders. I usually do very well at them. This should be pretty simple. And here we go. Mystic Veil is a card building game, not a deck building game, although it's very similar. Actually. Deck builders are so yesterday. <laughs> yeah, now we just build our cards <laughs> as we play. So, uh, we uh, did just flip these randomly, uh, these tokens, and CJ got the one with the start player symbol, so Ooh, uh, yeah. why don't you go ahead and start us off, and everybody else can get ready for their first turn. Hey, look, yeah. there's a cursed land. <clears throat> hey, there's another cursed land. Uh, flip that one over, and that one's on deck. Ooh. Now, you have three cursed lands in a row, mm. so CJ, you've got quite a conundrum. <laughs> just three out the gate. You would have two mana, though. I do have two mana, and... Uh, is that enough to buy that one there in the middle? Cleansing Rain now requires three. Requires three. Can I gamble? Oh, I'm going to gamble. Oh, he's pressing his luck, ladies and gentlemen. How much does that one cost, two? That one costs two. You know what? We're going to go with that instead. We're going to buy a centaur? We're going to buy a centaur. And out comes a pack leader, costs three. Uh, no benefit on the side. Uh, has a helmet symbol. Ongoing. Uh, pack leader has one... One bear claw for each helmet there is on this card. So it's actually worth one bear claw and could be worth nice. more if you have other helmets to it. Mm, bear claw. Now what we're going to do after our turn is we're going to prepare our next turn. That way the game goes a little faster for everybody. Yeah. So I'm going to do that while Aaron does what he's doing. Yeah. Speaking of, I've already prepared for my next turn. I already have the same exact hand that CJ got. <laughs> Two cursed lands and a third on deck. If I decide to put that on deck card into play, I risk spoiling. I've decided I'm not going to do that, and I'm just going to make this cursed land a little stronger. I am going to buy a fertile soil top, and uh, I will spend my two mana to do that. And then I add this to either of the cards in my field. Doesn't matter, but I chose this one. And now this card is a little bit stronger, and I put these two in my discard, and I set it for my next turn while Johnny goes. I'm going to leave this card on deck. I have three mana to spend. And I'm going to purchase the pack leader. Nice. What's the ring do? What does that do, Matt? Uh, when you <coughs> switch your library for any card, you may put it in your discard pile and shuffle your deck. Interesting. So you can pull out a crap card if you know you don't like it. Yeah. Out comes a wellspring. Costs four. Provides a, a green and a uh, brown mana. Oh, we shouldn't call it mana. Brown claw and uh, spirits, leaf. maybe? The yeah. spirits? Sure. That's nice. uh, a green and a brown spirit, a leaf and a claw spirit. Uh, that's Johnny's turn. Johnny, you can set up for your next turn while Matt goes. I had the same hand that Aaron had, which is the same. <laughs> <laughs> we we all just drew our cursed lands like right Oh, we got just boned. Uh, I'll grab the other simple Okay. Mm -hmm. so, did you spoil? No, I bought the turn. Oh, I, I stopped. I didn't even see it. So out comes a, a nymph. Oh, Ooh. costs three. Uh, has a helmet ongoing. A nymph has one leaf spirit for each helmet on this card. Oh, that's interesting. I think I'm going to go with a fertile soil, and I would like a middle one. You want a 
middle one. I'm going to take a middle fertile soil. Basically, the plan is to get rid of the decay symbols, or at least nullifying them to the best of my ability, leave the blank cards blank, and just get them out of there as they come through, and get some fertile soils packed in together to get some serious power mana cards. Alright, all right. you uh, you may go there, sir. I've got a toughie here. That, uh, that four point wellspring would be really awesome. But I only have three mana. I could take a fourth if I decided to put this curse land in play. You know what? It worked out so well every time I've tried to do this, so I'm going to go ahead. And I think most of my cursed lands are actually in the discard pile, so... Gamble! Gamble! I'm going to do it. I'm going to play, and please don't be a cursed land. It is not awesome. Uh, I'm actually going to stop there, because I have the four mana I need. I'm going to buy that Wellspring. And I'm going to... Ooh. I'm, I'm going to put it in a blank card. I was going to put it in with a fertile soil to make that card even stronger, but I'm thinking eh, maybe I should hold off on that. Okay, and then all these cards go off into my discard pile, and it's Johnny's turn, who is in a better situation. Oh, and uh, to replace that wellspring, we have another nymph. Costs three, hmm. gives you a helmet, and gets one leaf spirit for each helmet on the card. Johnny, are you going to... Uh... Yeah, I'm, I'm risk the biscuit. Oh, he's gambling, folks. Oh, and it pays off. It does. You can keep gambling if you wish. Uh, I wouldn't recommend it. Gamble, gamble. <laughs> Now's the time to go for tier three cards, Johnny. Yeah, okay. no. I'm gonna, <laughs> like, no. No, I'm, I'm going to stop. I'm going to go for a level two card. Oh. I'm going to buy this Druid Song for four points. Nice. Nicely done. Ooh. Uh, that level two card gets replaced with a plow for five. Gives one victory point, one mana, and one leaf spirit. Ooh. And I bust because I pulled up all my curse lands. <laughs> Well, you get a you mana out of it for next yeah. turn. I think you pull out, you know, almost all my freaking blanks, but... You gambled and lost? Yeah. Oh, man. Gambled it was all lost. cursed lands, but all my fertile soil should be in here. Yeah, fair enough. The strategy for this game, I really don't know how much one you can really try to build. Uh, the only two I can really think of is either try to go for points on spoiling, or try to purchase the Val cards for a lot of extra bonus points. Other than that, it's very fluid throughout the game. I mean, you could... Depending on what cards are on the board at the time, you're going to have to think on your feet pretty quick. I, I am also going to gamble. Let's, oh let's just boy. do it. Oh boy. And I bust it. <laughs> that's okay. all right. I get a mod out of it for next turn. It charges your mana, so that's good. I'm in a similar situation, but I am not going to gamble. <laughs> I am simply going to take a fertile soil and put it on one of my blank cards, so my blank cards are worth something. And I will discard all these. And go ahead, Johnny. You know what? Ooh, you got three. I'm, g I'm gonna keep gambling. Just oh, he's gambling again. Because I'm at the bottom of my deck. <laughs> and I busted. So, that's Ooh. fine. An extra mana for Johnny next turn. So, to start the game, you know, we're all trying to get mana symbols. So, we're buying a lot of fertile soils, uh, except Matt. So, we're all looking to maximize our turns as much as possible without trying to bust. But my plan was to try and bust at least once every other round to get that extra mana uh, when you when you can that way you know you use one turn to bust and then your next turn you have that extra mana to spend and hopefully you can move up instead of buying a level one card you can buy a level two or maybe even a level three I pulled out a lot though I got five I will take La Plow I'll put that here like blank card I have three this time, so I'm going to take the nymph with the at the top there. Yeah, there you are. and I'm gonna add her to my fertile soil. We replace her with a bone caster. Costs two, gives two mana, one decay, and one wild uh, spirit of your choice. Has a helmet and is worth one victory point at the end of the game. Tear. All right. It cost that card is insane. It costs two. Really? Yeah. That's it. It gives you an extra DK symbol, though. Keep that in mind. Still. Um, I have five mana to spend, which is crazy. Oh. I'm not going to gamble at all. Instead, I'm going to take a plow, because uh, why the hell not? <laughs> and I'm going to add it to my uh, one of my blank cards. And then I'm going to take all these ridiculous cards that I picked up. It is replaced with a Grove Tender. costs six, and ongoing, Grove Tender has one growth symbol. 
for each helmet on this card. However, he does not have a helmet himself. Hmm. But he can cancel out your cursed lands. I'm going to use the four that I have. I'm going to You buy. only have three. I have... Th oh, there's that too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm buying this and a fertile soil. Which one? Um, give me a top. There you are. Now you put them both on the same card. You could, and he is going to do exactly that. Mm. Sounds like a heck of a cursed land. And out comes a giant toad. When harvested, you gain one victory point for each helmet on this card, and he comes with a uh, claw uh, spirit. For how much? For two. You should probably grab him. Not a bad purchase, honestly. What do we get? Uh, a limb thresher for three provides one mana and one leaf spirit. It's good stuff. It is good stuff, but I don't have the cards out to, to really take advantage of that unless I gamble. Yeah. But I already have a mana, so... Oh, man, what do you do? I hate to waste a turn. I'm going to spend my two and my extra mana, and I'm going to take that other nymph. And I'm going to put her in my cursed land. Ooh. So the next time it comes up, I can at least... Uh, comes another Limb Thresher. Um, I would like either of those, but they're going to provide exactly the same bonus that I would get from a Fertile Soil plus a Spirit that I don't really have a plan for yet. <laughs> so I'm just going to add... Um, I'm going to add a Middle Fertile Soil to one of my blanks. And, oop, I did it, did it backwards. <laughs> there we go. Alright, and I'll discard these, and John, you go. Alright. Well... I have my Druid Song and my Pack Leader out, which gives me a Wild Spirit and a Bear Claw. I'm going to use it to buy World Tree from the Veil mm, section. Sure. My strategy of trying to take every other turn and spoil, it's kind of working in my favor because I'm sitting there, I'm adding an extra mana that I can use to buy stuff, I'm getting cards that I'm able to slide in and work out really well for me. Um, I'm getting some spirit symbols so I can go up and hopefully buy some veil cards and my strategy throughout the whole game is to focus on buying those veil cards. I've played this before and that's what helped me get a lot of victory points at the end was buying a lot of veil cards. Nice. Out what do we get? comes a Shimmer Cliff Rookery. Uh, costs two sun spirits. When bought you may turn your mana token to the active side. Charges your uh, your mana token for it's you. Worth and two. It's worth two victory points at the end of the game. That's not bad. I also have three mana to spend, and I would like to buy one of these. I'm going to buy a middle one here. Okay. Out comes another limb thresher. This time up top. I have fourteen discounted and bust. You spoiled. Mm. Ooh. I'm kind of falling a little bit behind on the fertile soils. Uh, I probably should have been going for more of those. But I'm going to try to look for other cards that add mana and possibly a couple little points. Late game, or later on, that probably might benefit a little bit, but early on you need the mana to be able to start really buying uh, all the cards you need later on. So I might be in a little bit of trouble. So, all right, I, I have some mana to oh, work with this time. you got a ton of mana to work with this time. I have, uh, Holy cow, I have five. But <clears throat> I don't know if that's enough to get what I want. Um, this might be a good time to... You can buy two cards. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to buy an upper fertile soil. Alright. That will cost me two. And correct. I have three left and one more buy. And I think that I am going to buy another fertile soil. Um, I'm going to buy a middle, I guess. There you go. Alright, that's going to be my turn. And hopefully when this comes around, we'll have money for days. Yeah. Uh, I uh, I have a wellspring with a green and a brown spirit. I'm gonna use it to buy an azure lake, which gives me a mana whenever I harvest. Um, and I also have three mana. I'm gonna use it to buy a limb thresher, and I think I'll take a top one to make this cursed land a little bit better. A little less painful for the cursed yeah, land. Yeah, a little less painful, I think. And out comes a wor a wood sprite for three with a mana and a sun symbol at the bottom. Oh, hey, that ain't bad. My turn. I'm actually going to go for the gold. Johnny's oh, going for rogue. gambling. And oh, busted. and he busts. Okay. Nothing else. Did you do better this time? <laughs> yeah, I busted yet. <laughs> I'm not going to because I'm going to buy. And I think I shall buy this guy for four. Beast champion, one, two, three, and that makes four. So I now have the Beast Brother Champion. 
and out comes a bear totem for six. Gives you a growth symbol and a uh, and a uh, claw spirit, and is worth one victory point at the end of the game. Mmm, but it costs six. I could really use some growth symbols in my deck, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> like, like first land? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Kind of nullify it, but six is a lot, and uh, we're already at stage bust. You know, we're gonna roll with it. We're gonna gamble. Like, they still charge your mana room. You bust. And we bust. Oh, that's all right. Charging up for next round. That's all. All right. Um, I am going to just stop where I'm at with three mana. We can put another one of these out, right? Uh, yeah. Yeah, we can put another one of those out. It is a Exodus Road. Just worth two victory. Yeah, just worth two victory. Requires a, a claw and a sun spirit. I'm just going to spend my three mana and buy the other Limb Thresher, because why the hell not? <laughs> and then we have Totem Chief for three mana. Has ongoing. Totem Chief has one star or sun symbol for each helmet on this card, and he has a helmet. I got a card that needs that, not this round. I'm going to sit pat where I'm at, because it rhymes. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going to buy a bottom fertile soil and a middle fertile soil. Oh, Johnny's building up a mana. Uh, are you spending the mana? Okay. Okay, I stopped at my three. I'll grab the wood sprite. Uh, it is replaced by Forest Song. Costs four, gives one victory point, and one uh, leaf spirit with the harvest. And how much does that cost? Four. Four. I cannot seem to string together a whole lot over here. Four is too rich for my blood. That shouldn't be the case, but it is. I guess we're going to buy a fertile soil. That's what we're going to do. Uh, All right. I will buy a uh, bottom fertile soil, please. Okay. Here. And that will be my turn. Uh, I am in a similar boat. I can't buy anything, and that sucks. Um, but I am going to use... I'll use my two mana to buy a fertile soil to improve my wall spring. Well, I might as well go for broke again. And I broke. <laughs> <laughs> and Johnny bursts into flames. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I got five. Five? What the hell am I doing wrong? <laughs> Look at this gamble, this is rough. I guess I'll buy this guy for four. I get one victory point. Arbor Overseer costs three, gives you a victory point, and has a helmet. Ooh. And it's, oh, it's in the middle though. Ah, I need a bottom helmet. Uh, there are saying. none. <laughs> 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 All right, I guess I'm going to, uh, I guess I'm gonna spend Three and buy that cleansing ring. Okay. And I'm going to slide that into this cursed land, make it a little less painful, hopefully. Out comes Deadwood Harvester. Costs three and has a long view. When played, you may discard any other card in your field. That might be useful. Well, I'm in a sitch. I got four mana out and I get one victory point. But. My very next card is a Cursed Land with a Fertile Soil attached to it, so if I gamble, I will have six mana. If it pays off. Yeah, I, as much as I want to start getting into the twos and threes, um, I'm not going to take that. I'm just going to keep that, keep that back for the next turn, and I will just buy two Fertile Soils. It's going pretty well. Um, I've adopted a strategy of trying to never spoil. Uh, and so far, it's held true. I haven't spoiled once. Um, but I managed to get a bunch of fertile soils and use them to improve the cards I already have. I've also filled in a couple of blank cards um, just to make sure that almost every card in my deck does something. Um, and uh, it's, it's going fairly well, although I notice that Matt is starting to pull away already with victory point chips because he's already got a couple of one point victory point chip uh, giving cards. And I'm starting to think maybe I should get on top of those. Um, and I will take a bottom and a top. So I have all that I need to have sex. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and I will add them to my successful cards already. All right, I really don't want to risk it anymore. But. I kind of need to. I kind of need to. I'm gonna risk it. You going for it, Johnny? Going for it. Oh. Bust it again. Poof. 
Double bust. I know that pain. Don't forget you have that, because it didn't yeah. charge this turn, so remember that. Matasaur. Uh, I unfortunately got to stop here, but I'll take a uh, bottom fertile soil. Bottom one. Nope, bottom one. Yeah. That's All right, I'm looking at them upside down. We are almost out of fertile soils, and we are almost out of level one enhancements. I have seven. I need more. It's not fair. Man, that's a tough call. I just need one more, but if I gamble and lose seven, I'll cry. Oh, man, that's crazy. Ah, you got to make a decision. I know. I am going to... I'm going to take this for seven. It's probably the smart one. It probably is. We got the primal power for seven. While on deck, if you spoil, gain four victory points and take another turn. He has two victory points, but he has a spoil symbol on it. Ah, uh, yeah, but he wanted to spoil on deck. <laughs> so you throw him on cursed land. As we're playing through the game, this card in the level three enchantments pops up. Primal power. And if you bust, you get four victory points. I'm busting already, so I might as well go for broke. Yep, that's what makes him profitable. Oh, that's what gives you the power. The power. <laughs> Basically, you want him to end your turn. I am in a similar situation. I have five mana. It's not enough for what I want. You kind of bought what I want, but my, sec my backup option is still there. <laughs> and I would have to gamble to get it, and I don't really want to. I'm gonna do it. This one's for you. Gamble, gamble. Bust, bust, bust. Oh! Woo! Happy days are here again. I got seven mana to play with. Now I'm gonna take the bear totem. Damn. I think long term, getting rid of my curse lands will help me out more than trying to spoil intentionally. Yeah. Go ahead. Goldwing Griffin comes out for five. He has a sun and a bear print, and when played, you may turn your mana token to the active side. Oh, interesting. And he's a victory point. That's pretty good. Uh, I'm going to stay where I'm at because this is like heaven on earth to me. You got right all now. the symbols down there, Johnny. Uh, oh so God. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven mana. I'm buying the Sundered Land. Nice. And. Because I have two wilds and a leaf, I believe I'm going to be buying probably this wood sprite hoard. Wood sprite hoard for you, Ooh, sir. Very good. Very nice. Uh, when bought, you may look at the top three cards of your deck, not including your on deck card. So take your on deck card off the deck and look at the top three cards and decide which ones you want to discard. I have five. I will take. That guy, Goldwing Griffin. Curse you! And I get uh, two points. Nothing a hardwood die. healer for five. Oh, I'm afraid not. Provides one growth token and is worth one victory point at the end of the game. And it costs five, though. Hmm. I'm going to buy the last middle fertile soil. That's what we're going to do. Uh, I have five, uh, one on deck, but I'm not going to do it. Um, I'm going to buy this totem chief for three, and this last top fertile soil for Ooh. two. And the last level one enchantment is Enchant Chorus. For two, harvest other advancements added to this card cost two mana less. My situation is I have three points. I probably should buy this Deadwood Harvester. Okay, man, I have three. I'm going to grab this one. I'll throw him right here on this guy. Ah. <sighs> What does that last one do, Aaron? She's the Earth Chant Chorus. Uh, other enhancements added to this card cost two less. Uh, it's, that's not going to do me any good. I guess we're gambling is what we're doing. Oh, it's going to be painful. It's not painful. Ooh. Two, four. Um, I have five. Okay, we're going to take this. We're going to make this cursed land slightly less cursed and more profitable. Well, out comes a hawk. For four, provides two victory points, adds a decay, and also adds a a uh, claw spirit. Um, and it has a helmet. I only have three mana and one leaf spirit, which is no good. I'll just spend the two and buy this last earth chant chorus, put it on a blank card so I can add two enhancements to this and get the most out of it. 
And uh, Johnny, it's your turn. All right, I have three cursed lands in a row, but because of buying the Wood Sprite Horde, I know I discarded another cursed land, so I'm going to risk it. He's rolling the dice. And it worked out beautifully. I'm just going to keep going. Oh, you're going to keep going? Oh, you're going to keep going? Going Oh my god, he's pressing his luck again, and it spoils. Wow. You had six mana, and you decided to keep going? Yeah. Yeah. Damn, dude. Johnny's got balls of steel. (laughs) Oh, man. He comes up to the gambling table and just throws his dice at him. No fear whatsoever. That was crazy time. I unfortunately bust trying to push for, uh, get my essence out, so. (laughs) Unfortunately, since I didn't get as many uh, Fertile Soil cards, I had to try to press my luck on the uh, cards just so I can get the mana out to be able to buy some of them mid-game. The trouble is, I just kept spoiling. I did think I did it a couple turns in a row, and that just hurt so much. Just a couple turns where basically I took a pass that round. Uh, but sometimes you have to, but I probably processed it a little more than I should have. <laughs> um, I'm about to find out if I'm going to bust. Oh, I do no not. bust. But I only have three, and they ain't going to do no good. So Onward and upward. And there it is. It's a charge my mana token. <laughs> Well, I'm glad you guys keep busting out. I appreciate that. Uh, I'll take one victory point from my plow. Uh, I have uh, two greens and a brown, so I'm going to buy that Bramble Spire. If I were to spoil, I can discard this card to cancel all decay on an on deck card or a card in my field. Brilliant. I might do that. But in the meanwhile, I have six to spend. No, I'm just... Oh, man. This kind of hurts, but I'm going to be ballsy. I'm going to take that hawk. And I'm going to finish off this card. It officially cannot be advanced any further. Alright. What's our new level <coughs> 2? New level 2 card is a Feral Chieftain. Costs 5, provides a Sun Spirit, and has a Helmet and Harvest. Gain 1 victory point for each helmet on this card. Is worth 1 victory point at the end of the game. I think I'm going to try and risk it again. Or not. <laughs> Johnny's rolling the dice. And I'm going to stay there, because that Sundered Land canceled everything out on that one. But I'm I'm pretty well set on mana here. <laughs> you have all the spirit tokens. One, two, three, four, five, six, uh, seven. He's got three. And I have three. That's enough to buy most of them. This Feral Chieftain. All right. And then I'm going to use my spirits to buy the Eagle Cry Peak. Okay. Okay, I have put out another six. level two there. Oh, yeah, another level which two. Which is start. hopefully something I can buy. It's a Sundered Land for seven. Or Dad. Damn it! That card is dumb. Um, six. I'm going one for each helmet. So that will not help me. I literally cannot buy anything else because I only have six. Gamble! Uh, no, because I'm getting a free victory point anyway. Oh. Uh, but I do have. Uh, all th- uh, still have three on that one. So I'll just take my uh, little point. Give me a shot. What's it like to have victory points? What's that, <laughs> what's that taste like? It's uh, slightly warm and fuzzy. <sighs> Haunted Hollow. At the end of the game, if you have the most decay symbols in your deck, gain seven victory points. It includes canceled ones. Um, I have five, and I don't think there's literally anything that I can buy. Um, I could get the Whisper, but uh, that would not for squat on any of the cards I have out. So, so I guess we're gambling for the sake of doing something. Uh, oh, it's a blank. It gives me six. We're going for it. What do we got to lose? Uh, everything, apparently. You may go, sir. I was going to say, you did have the charged mana. I know, it still wasn't enough. Everything cost too much. Alright, I am just crazy enough to do it. I'm going to gamble, because I do have my Bramble Spire to back me up, even if it fails. And it did fail. Uh, Okay, so I have to spend it. Yeah, I'll I'll, I'll destroy that to uh, avoid spoiling. All right, and I will take my six mana. Screw it. Johnny's not the only one with balls. (laughs) He may be the only one with mana, though. Oh, 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 thank you. Um, I will take that Sundered Land. 
Oh. And oh, kill another dirty rat. Kill another cursed land. No, Johnny, don't do it. I don't even know what you're doing. So don't I have a it. Sundered Land, which canceled that. <coughs> so that's one mana. I use that. I'm gonna buy the Primal Power. Holy cow. Yep. That's what I was trying to hide for. Alright, um, flip over the next third level thing and then do your turn. But I unfortunately bust, so. Alright, so. Oh I'm dear going, God! I'm going through my whole deck here. I have three, well, I, this one negates itself, so I have two, and then I negate another one, which is over here, so I still only have two, and the third one's right there. I can buy anything, but I'd like to buy more than one anything. <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> but it, it, it'd be, it, it's absolute madness, I can't. I can't. <laughs> Cannot justify that. Um, <laughs> That's awesome. What is, say. Is, is there a helmet out there? There's just that one. It's on top. That doesn't help me. I think I'm gonna spend nine on this one. The pajama. Pajama. Yeah, because it's worth two. What you doing there, Aaron? Everything. Yeah. All the things. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Um, yeah, I think I'm just going to take uh, Calm Weather and negate another one of my cursed lands. That's not a bad choice. Uh, we're going to put out a uh, Stag Champion. Ongoing. Double the victory points you gain from advancements on this card, including text effects. Ooh, that's not bad. I don't have anything to really apply that for. But wow. You know. That doesn't come out cheap. Yeah, that is ten. Alright. Do I go for broke again? Go for it, Johnny. Come on. What are you going to buy? Well, you can't buy anything. Oh, Guts. I got balls. It worked out just fine. <laughs> Alright, so what are you buying, Johnny? One, two, three, four, five. I believe your choices are limited to the second tier, sir. You're not quite third I'm, tier material. I'm deciding which which little lady I want to buy. Yeah. Do I want the top wind whisperer or the middle wind whisperer? I don't That's. I'm going to go with the top. Yeah? Yeah, she's a topper. I bust again because I got a force mod out and it's just not working out for me. Gotcha. Does that two mana that go over another mana? No. How much does that cost? That's two on the on the side. Yeah, there. this is six. It provides two mana, and when played, you may discard any other card in your field. It's worth one victory point too at the end of the game. And it costs six. Uh, it does cost six. Oh. Fine. Ah. <laughs> that sounded Damn. like it hurt. It's a bust. You spoiled? Yeah. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Oops. Yeah, you know what? I'm actually going to go ahead and buy that Mindful Owl because that's pretty huge. Discard this to reduce the cost at a level 2 advancement to zero. Okay. I actually can buy this Exodus Road with the uh, points that I have as well. There you go. What is it? Wayfair Portal. Harvest. You may unsleeve one advancement card on, uh, in your field and resleeve it into a different card. That's a uh, that's pretty awesome ability right there. <laughs> I can see that coming in handy. Yeah, I think I'm gonna take the Grove Tower here. But I keep forget. I gotta keep this front and center because I keep forgetting. Every time I harvest, I'm supposed to gain an additional mana, and I've forgotten that. <laughs> turn after turn. Oh jeez. Turn. turn. Ah, stupid. Said that I can't get him where I want him. So I will take this guy. And I will sleeve him on that. And I will take that thing that lets me re-sleeve a card. So that's two suns, right? That is two suns, sir. Very well done. I, I was eyeballing that very much. We're going to get an either tree. If you were to spoil, you may discard this card to cancel all uh, spoiled card uh, on one card. That is not from your cursed land. That's be one of the other ones that are stuck with a bad point. Uh, I see. What are you doing, sir? Oh, I'm beating my head against the wall here. Um, that uh, that does have a mana symbol, and that's four. Yeah. I am going to spend four, and I'm going to take this one right here. It's a wild two. Uh, replacing it is a hatchery. Costs four. No symbols. Discard. If not the first card in your field, leave it in play as the first card in your field for your next turn. <coughs> Alright, uh, I am stuck. <laughs> True three I know that symbols feeling. immediately. But I'm going to stay with what I got because it gives me two uh, victory points immediately. Thank you, Hawk. 
and I have two bear claws, which is going to allow me to take this for another. Oh yeah, crap! I need two. Cascade. Need <laughs> What's that? Two victory points. I didn't even pay attention. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'll place the another one. Yep. We're going to get a direwolf burrow. When bought, you may turn your token to the active side, and it's worth two victory points. I'm going to buy this gentleman here. Call of the Hunt. All right, out comes another Feral Chieftain for five. Provides a sun symbol, has a helmet. I will spend four on this guy. I bust. Uh, I get a victory point, and uh, for five, I'll take five, please. And I have six to spend, and two green symbols. There ain't nothing for two green symbols out. Rats. Uh, okay, I'm going to buy this Beast Brother Champion, I think. Yeah, he's going to be useful. All right. I, well, my primal power was on deck. I spoiled. So oh, dear. I gain four victory points, and I get to take another turn. Oh, my God. All right, Johnny, take another turn. <laughs> Well done. I'll, well I take my four victory, uh, well, six minute. victory points. Wait a minute. Right? You didn't spoil. Oh yes, you did. I'm sorry. Yeah. He's oh, worth yeah. two. I He's worth two. That's it. why they put it on the curse. Ah, That's what I was man. trying to do with yeah. that one, and I couldn't smart get it man. in time. That's right, well done. Here's four. Uh, you discard those and start again. And I did it again. What? <laughs> you devil! Okay, so I gotta admit, I wasn't even really paying attention to Johnny all that much. I mean, he was doing his own kind of weird thing where he seemed to enjoy spoiling, whereas I was going out of my way to avoid it, so I at least accomplished something on every turn. But, um, yeah, he just, like, gets eight victory points in a single turn and gets three turns out of it by spoiling twice with the, the primal power, and I'm just like... I don't even know who's in the lead anymore. Like, I don't even know. I'm, I'm, I'm still leaning towards Matt being in the lead, but I have no idea. Like, it's all going to come down to the count at the end of the game. So now, my only focus is buying as many victory points as I can get any way I can get them. But I'm running out of time. How the hell did that happen? You shuffled it because yeah. you ran out of cards. You only had, like, two cards left. Well, well played, sir. Well <laughs> played. I, I can't even... So, at this point in the game... There's a couple of points left to be taken. I'm not taking them. The other three, probably some were very close. They've all had tremendous turns. And uh, Johnny just smacked it out of the park, cycled through his deck twice. And uh, I'm still sitting here with two victory points, and uh, it doesn't look like that's going to change. I'm trying to scoop up a couple of Veil cards with the, the power cards I have and buy anything that has points and slip it into a sleeve, but I'm, I'm not even here anymore, unfortunately. <laughs> well, he was at the end of his deck when he got that, so... Uh, John, you're crushing it. What the uh, hell? I think I'm just going to buy the Hawk. Alright, it pops up. I get four victory points. I have to reshuffle my deck with my discarded pile. I do that, and it comes out again. I, I get to take another turn. I get four victory points. Plus, I get to take another turn and four victory points. And why not? All right, done. Yep, master. Yeah, that's what I was gonna buy. Johnny picked up one card that I was hoping to get my hands on. I couldn't. He got it first. I knew that was gonna be a bit of a trouble. He did the smart play. He played it right where he needed to. And then he takes two turns with it in one round. Eight points. That's like a kick in the nuts. It's not good. I'll buy the wind whisperer, I guess. I, uh, I miscounted, so uh, I screwed myself out. I had, I had canceled a bunch and, and I accidentally, so... <clears throat> you spoiled on accident? I spoiled on accident when I could have literally bought anything. I know CJ and I sometimes get a little, like, you know, uh, cat fight, eye scratchy, outy kind of thing. Um, but I gotta be honest, I feel for him when things go bad. <laughs> Like, uh, we were playing another game the other day, and it was not going well for him, and I just, I felt awful about it. And just now, this awful, horrible turn where he accidentally spoiled, like, it, it just gave me a lump of ice in my gut. I felt awful. And there's not a lot I can do about it either. Like, I can't really improve his gameplay at all. I, all I can do is work on my deck. So, you know, I just kind of sit back and go, man, that sucks. 
but I do get two victory points because I did spoil with this card. I would have rather bought stuff, but at least I got something out of it. But I do get to take another turn. So Up to this point, everyone else has got victory points and they're starting to collect them. I still have nothing. But lo and behold, I start building an epic turn of card after card. I got some cancellations in there and I'm hoping I don't spoil before I have enough to buy whatever I want on the board, including maybe getting a spirit card or two. Um, a Veil card is going to make a big difference at this point in the game. Uh, unfortunately, I've miscalculated. I thought I had one more anti-spoil than I did, and this whole thing is a wipe. Small silver lining, because I spoiled the card on deck, gives me two victory points. So now I at least have points, but... Uh, I'm at the bathroom at the bus station and the bus is leaving the stop. We'll very quickly go through this and maybe salvage this terrible turn. So CJ's kind of playing out his turn, miscounts his uh, decay symbols and accidentally busts. And he had a whole lot of cards out at that point and it was going to be a big turn if he paid attention and didn't bust actually. So he kind of set himself up to do really good, and then all of a sudden he let it come crashing down. When played, search your deck for any card. You may put it in your discard pile. Well, this would have been the next card, so I'll put it in my discard pile. All right, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. I have 12. I'll buy all the things. Never mind, the mana and the spoil and everything do count, so I have one of those that I'll put on this. And then no one else can have it. So that's nine. Um, I do have a wild and a leaf, and I think that I will buy this. And then next time I screw up spoiling, I can uh, unscrew myself. Uh, so Chris unfortunately miscounted, well probably more fortunate for me, but he uh, had too many cards and spoiled. If he wouldn't have done that, it would have been an absolutely devastating round just because he had just a ton of cards out. He had so much mana out, he could have bought almost anything on the table, possibly two of the most expensive cards. The fact that he actually spoiled when he did that, um, it definitely affected the game for him. I mean, he possibly might have altered it so he even might not have won because of that. Uh, I have ten, but I also, because I harvested, I gain a sun spirit and I have a claw and a leaf spirit, so I'm going to buy... Although we should flip over the next uh, yes. level one. Uh, it is the Azure Lake. Uh, harvest and gain one mana, yeah, which you already I have. I have one of those. It's very nice. Um, in fact, that's why I have ten instead of nine. Uh, but I have one of each, so I'm going to buy the Pool of Visions instead. Uh, I'm going to take this Calm Weather and cancel yet another Cursed Land. And out comes Storm Elemental, which has an ongoing of canceling all withers on this card. Ooh. That's very good. Um, I'm going to risk it because I need to. Ooh. And it paid off. Alright, so I'm going to gain two victory points for this card here. I really, think, I really want this. I really think he's going to help me. Alright. We're going to pull out a uh, Lifebringer Seed. There they are. I've been wondering. I'm going to cancel all. Uh, uh, I all do get two victory points. Spoilers on that. Ooh, nice. Fortunately, don't have a whole lot, uh, so I will take uh, cancel, cancel, two cancel. victory points. Ooh. Two. two victory points for this gentleman here. Everybody getting the victory points except for old CJ with his two measly victory points. All right, man, you done? Yep. I'm gonna spend a five. Oh, I don't have that one out here, do I? No, no, that'd be too easy, Chris. If you had that one out. I guess I'm going to spend my five and I'm going to just uh, take this Lifebringer seed and cancel out one of my uh, cursed lands here. Very good. All right. Well, I don't know what the hell to do. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, oh. ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Sorry, Aaron. Fifteen. May I, may I purchase a spirit card as well? Yeah, please? go ahead. Okay, thank you. I would like to take this lake as well. It's very, it's very useful. Yeah, I'm hoping it'll help. Um, I think I'm going to use five of them to buy this Rune River. Alright. And I will spend the two claws to buy this Dire Wolf Burl. Nicely done. And I get to flip that over the active side, so now I have 16 mana. Holy crap! 16 mana? 
I've never had a turn with 16 mana and 7. That's completely insane. I don't even know how that happened. All of a sudden, I'm, I'm jumped up by its, like 8 victory points out of the cards I bought. Like, that's nuts. Um, and uh, I, I don't know if I'm in the lead, but I've, I've at least caught up. You know, so I'm hoping that this this luck holds and th these turns keep happening, because damn. We have Ancient Life Roots, uh, which is gain one permanent growth, uh, growth. growth token. It's yeah. always out. That's you pretty always nice. Have a growth. And the other one is uh, Harvest, you may discard this card for a mana. So. Yeah, I'm having the oh. same problem. It's a good card. I got it's... three victory points while I'm at it. Uh, <laughs> before I forget, I can kind of do this by these two. If I add them both to the Fertile Soil, then the Stag Champion will double the amount of victory points I get off the Feral Chieftain, which is one. Burrow Worm costs four, provides a mana. Discard. Instead of discarding this card, you may place it at the bottom of your deck, worth one victory point. And up top, Seed Sowers costs ten, provides one wild, uh, wild uh, symbol. Harvest. You may spend any amount of mana, gain one victory point for every two mana you spent. Hmm. Eight. That ain't bad. So Aaron has a magnificent turn. 16 mana, bunch of different spirit symbols, victory points. I'm looking at this guy going, he's just took the game. That's, there, there's no way he can buy whatever he wants, buy whatever he wants in the veil section. Plus he's raking in the victory points and putting himself a nice little cushion. Matt was starting to pull away nickel and diamond on the victory points, but Aaron just did a full sweep, and it was incredible. And I, I'm not sure anybody's going to be able to duplicate that and be able to catch up. I'm going to stop here and <coughs> get two victory points. All right, we're almost out of victory points. Yeah, I know. I, I have two. I, I have two. Is that, is that good? This is like golf, right? A few strokes. <laughs> You're adorable. <sighs> kind of need to go with you. Aaron had a crazy turn. Uh, he's been able to build his deck in such a way where he's been able to negate a lot of his uh, so, uh, spoil cards. And with that, he emptied out almost his entire deck in a single turn. He's got a lot of mana, and he's been able to pick up a couple Veil cards in one turn. It's devastating. If he can somehow pull that off turn after turn, he's going to run away with it endgame points. This could be a big problem. Out comes a plow. The Dust. plow. Dust plow. There. And because I harvested, I can move this to here. Nicely done. That's a nice move. Well, I don't even have to discard. All I gotta do is harvest. <laughs> and because that wasn't the first card, that stays out. <clears throat> All right. I'm just gonna sit over here and twiddle my thumbs. Well. Aaron just pulled off the turn of the century, kind of the thing I was going to do before I broke it and uh, didn't do that thing. He did the thing better than me. Um, the bus is disappearing over the horizon now. Uh, the pile of points is diminishing and I still have two. I've hardly accrued any cards at this point. Everything I'm getting that I can purchase doesn't fit with the cards I have. Um, I'm starting to think that leaving the blank cards blank has become a curse rather than a blessing because I don't have the ability to buy any cards and put them into the cards I have. They're already full or they're already in the wrong position and I can't do anything positive with that now. So I think this might be a crucial turning point where I've, I've just failed to play the game properly. I, uh, why did I take the ones I need? I need them. <sighs> that was the only one I could literally afford. That was literally it. Are you gambling? Uh, no, I'm not gambling. I am going to use my spirit points and I am going to, uh, I'm going to buy this because it's the only one I can afford. Because <laughs> it's the cheapest thing ever. Yeah. And another Exodus Road. Alright, that's the end of my turn. Uh, I have five mana, one green symbol, which is good for absolutely nothing. Um, but I believe I can just take this plow and make this card even more. Awesome. I need to go for a risk. Oh, it paid off. And I'm going to harvest. Oh, wait, no. I have to have this in play. That right? has to be in play if you want to do the ability. Oh, snap. 
Oh snap! Alright, so I'm going to take the top cards of my deck, not my on-deck card, put them at the end until I have eight cards. So, this. I will grab that one. Damn you! Put it on that fertile soil. You are within striking distance, I will smack you. I get uh, two points. And I have a bunch of uh, essence to spend. I think this would be the best one to grab. Next one is a stream of vigor. Harvest gain two victory points, and you may buy a third advancement this turn. A little late in the game for that, but it's still pretty cool. Hey, Amen. Um, CJ, I don't want to talk about it. I don't want to talk. About it. <laughs> Alright, man. Uh, what you gotta do. Uh, I'm just gonna put a burrow worm on uh, a blank for myself, and I should be able to buy this for free. Actually, do I have enough? I have one. I have a star. I have a bear claw. I have enough for my lucky charms. Take this. Alright, Aaron, what are you doing with your massive turn over there? Uh, yeah, it's huge. Uh, I'm gonna. Put out a Beast Brother Hunter. Uh, you gain, uh, you can, if you harvest, you gain one victory point per card less than seven you have in your field. So if you stop early, that's uh, worth it. Um, but I have seven mana and only one symbol, which is good for absolutely nothing. I don't think there's many turns left, so I'm just going to grab this Water Reaver. Add it to my Limb Thresher and make that even more powerful. And another Beast Brother Hunter came out. Hmm. That's all I got. Well, I'm going to stop here because I got four victory points, which would drain the pool of victory points. Oh, damn. Okay. Guess it didn't matter that I was about to bust. Uh, yeah, so you're going to finish out your turn, you're going to finish out your turn, and that's it. Um, I'm going to use this bear claw to buy that, and then I'm going <laughs> okay. to buy the rest of it with that. You have four there? Maybe? Yes, I have one, two, three, four. Oh, sorry, I thought they made that was kind of one. <laughs> Leave some for the rest of us. Leave some for CJ. <laughs> well, Matt, you get the last turn. What are you going to do? Well, I actually, these are pointless because I can't buy any of those. Uh, quite literally, I have five mana, so I can buy a one point card, which I think is the best option, right? For five? Yeah. Count up your victory point chips and your victory points on your cards and your victory points on your veil cards. I have more veil cards than I thought I did. You bought a ton early and then you just stopped. This is the fun part of the game where you unsleeve everything. <laughs> <laughs> wow, I, 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 Why did I buy this many cards? I had 30 points. 36. 30 points. Uh, end of the game comes around. Johnny pulled out of the lead. Definitely that one turn helped him severely. Uh, me and Aaron tied. I figured we'd be probably pretty close. I didn't expect to be tied. Uh, for the future playing this game, big thing I can think of is try to add extra mana early on. Don't press your luck when you don't need to. You need to be able to get the mana out. If I was having just a bad turn come up, let those cursed lands pull through. Don't press my luck on them quite as much. Too many turns in a row I did that. Screw you guys. <laughs> I have 13 points. <laughs> I have 13 <laughs> points. I don't even I don't even know what to say. At this point, I, my body has been found half eaten by dogs. I, I'm not even I have 13 points. They almost have triple what I have. It's like I was playing a different game entirely. I, I, I've never I don't think I've ever lost by this much. I've lost some games, I've been knocked out of some games, but but this was like, why did you show up? You wasted a seat. I, I don't, uh, I think the lesson to be taken away here is to utilize the blank cards because if you don't, you might as well just not take your turn at all. I, I think that's, uh, I think that's my next strategy. Maybe next time I'll lose by a few points instead of, you know, all the points. <coughs> Did nobody tell you that the point of the game was to gain points? I thought it was, I thought it was like golf where you're going for the lowest amount of strokes. <laughs> Ay, ay, ay. Wow. Well, 
It's not the ending I would have wanted, but it wasn't bad. I certainly wasn't expecting to tie with Matt. That kind of blew my mind. I thought he was ahead of me by like five or six points at least. Uh, but Johnny having 36 was... Pfft. I'm just not going to talk about CJ. That would be cruel. I don't want to be cruel. He's my buddy. My best friend. Wow. Well, congratulations, Johnny. Well, well done, done, sir. Well done. Well done. So, after everything's all said and done, Matt and Aaron are tied at 30 points. CJ, unfortunately, is, was having bad turns and ends up with 13. But I got 36. 36 points. And I win. And I normally don't win anything, so it's exciting to win. Wow, ah, well-earned victory. You slaughtered me. That's a, that's a hate crime in some <laughs> countries. What you did. Yeah, that was brutal. Ah, 36.